Hello world. Today I'm going to talk about why would I, a socialist, vote for Andrew Yang instead of Bernie Sanders? For those that don't know, I am a socialist just like Bernie Sanders. I believe in the state owning the means of production, upholding social justice, and guiding the population towards a better future. I know the literature well enough to know that socialism throughout history has never worked and had killed more people than most wars. But I think there is one thing that socialism excels at and capitalism could not match, and that is capitalism is great at solving the problems that are, that are here and now, but it cannot see beyond the horizon. However, socialism is designed to plan for the future that is to come. Obviously, planning for the future didn't always pan out for the socialists. For example, in the former USSR, Soviet economists set prices for everything traded under the sun because they didn't, they didn't believe that the free market could possibly set a fair price on their own. And they wanted to make sure that everyone could survive the winter. Obviously, the USSR was wrong. A free market was able to set prices and set it quite efficiently. However, the Soviet economists' hearts were in the right place. They were just in way over their heads. Today, it is the capitalists that are having problems. Like what Eric Weinstein has said, technology is killing capitalism. Capitalism striving ever towards more efficiency are phasing out humans for more efficient AI and machines. And any human who can leverage machines can amplify his productivity to replace even larger number of workers. And the day will come when the chasm between people who commence AI and the people that can't becomes so large that it cannot be crossed. Could socialism stop this divide between mankind? No. Capitalism has beaten socialism many times throughout history with its economic prowess, and these failed socialist states had devolved into chaos. However, socialism can bridge the gap between the haves and the have-nots. Of course, the devil is in the detail, but just imagine. If the nation's directive is to improve the quality of life for its citizens and everyone works for the nations, the top producers would be held as heroes and not as greedy corporate overlords. Again, the, dev the devil is in, is in the detail, but in capitalism, greed and selfishness is what makes it work and is also what divides it. Its strength is also its weakness. Now, there are many more details on capitalism and socialism, which I will dive into in the future, but let's talk about Andrew Yang. So why would I vote for Andrew, a capitalist, and not Bernie, a socialist? It's because Bernie does not recognize the problem that we are facing today. Calling for higher, higher corporate tax, taxing the rich, and redistributing the loot do not work. Even if you forcefully redistribute the wealth of the richest people in America, everyone would just get a one-time payment of a couple hundred dollars, and that's it. And also, calling for free college is useless because so few people benefit from college. Also, fewer and fewer people will benefit from colleges in the future due to the development of highly specialized fields. Furthermore, price and wage control has never worked and had only made things worse. Even Karl Marx knew these fundamental laws of economic better than Bernie. Marx knew that market economic works. He just didn't trust that the capitalists wouldn't exploit the system every chance that they got. Like raising the price of an anti-seizure drug from $40 to 38982 so why Andrew Yang instead of any other candidate in the democratic field? Well, Andrew's freedom dividends offer a chance to win Americans off of the legacy entitlement programs that has hurt so many people. In fact, Milton Freeman did an excellent job of breaking down how each entitlement program has destroyed the fabric of American society. Also, Andrew's understanding of technology and its development could help heal the divide that automation is bringing. 
and Andrew's plan for a single health pair system is not as ham-fisted as Bernie's. Furthermore, his plan to offer education towards jobs that cannot be replaced by automation is better than free colleges that gives out useless degrees. Andrew Yang is not a socialist, but a capitalist that is competent. In fact, more competent than anyone else on the democratic field. And even a socialist like me can appreciate competence. Because I'd rather be led by a competent leader that has different opinions than an incompetent fool that shares my ideology. In fact, identity politics and tribalism is for the weak and the intellectually lazy to feel safe in numbers. The strong stands alone and everyone else follows him or her towards the same goal irregardless of intersectionality. So that's why, that's why I support Andrew Yang. And that's all, world.